we had a, a situation last summer where we all drowned. Okay, let's go. I'm in this thing. All right, I am moving. Honestly, why am I worried about them? This is my race. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the TRY podcast where we what? We try, we try. I am your host, Katherine Shorten, and today I have an interesting topic to discuss. How do you get started or restarted when you just don't feel like you have any motivation? But before we go there, let's get into the review of the week. <laughs> Okay, we got a five-star review from Layla underscore 24. Love it. The intro was so interesting. I can't wait for the first episode. Go, Catherine. Yay! If you are listening to the podcast on Apple, Stitcher, Spotify, leave me a review. It helps me grow. If you are watching the podcast on YouTube, Please subscribe, like, comment, share with a friend. It helps me grow as well. The analytics say half the people that watch my videos aren't Unmer. even subscribed. I am not a licensed physician. I am not a nutritionalist or health professional in any kind of way. The topics that we discuss on this podcast are meant to be the beginning of your research. You are responsible for you. Do we understand each other? Yes? Okay, you follow my channel, you know I'm very transparent. I use my life as a case study because I know if I'm dealing with something, there is a plethora of other people dealing with something similar, hence the whole reason why I created the podcast. So, for the past week and a half or so, something like that, I've been very low energy. I have not been exercising. My eating has been suspect at best. Uh, I haven't been drinking my water. I'm behind in my housework. I'm behind in my deadlines at work. My attitude has been not good. You know, the overall mood in the house is just not great. And I wasn't, I wasn't working out. I wasn't getting out in nature and I was having a hard time starting those things. And I said the reason why I couldn't start because I just don't have the motivation, right? And so that's the space that I was in before I had to just start doing some research to get me out of that funk. Okay, I am always a student first. So when life brings me problems, I am going to attack it like it's an assignment in class and I'm going to start the research. The things that I found are quite interesting and they are no substitute if you are having a mental health crisis. If you are in mental health crisis, seek professional help. There's no shame in that. As a matter of fact, you're doing a disservice to yourself and your family if you don't. This is talking about if you find yourself very lowly motivated you just can't get going or you can't get re-going after you've been going, something like, something like that. So the first thing to think about is the, just knowing how closely related your mental health and your physical health are. They go hand in hand. If you are physically unwell, it will begin to affect your mental well-being. And if mentally you are unwell, physically you will start to see the feel the effects of that right so we got to know these things feed into each other so if you find yourself in this situation the first thing you need to do is don't beat yourself up we are forgiving ourselves quickly this is where we are and it is okay that this is where you found yourself i mean we are living through a global panorama you know, don't forget that, right? Wherever you find yourself and this is the space that you're in, be kind, forgive yourself and allow your body to rest. Real rest though, not the type of rest where you're like, oh my goodness, I should be up. 
I should be. Anytime we start saying should, this is a problem. I should be cleaning right now. I got lots to do. No, you. the only thing you have to do is take care of yourself. So right now, you're going to rest. We are also not consuming any content that makes us feel bad. I, and you know, that content can be anything that makes you feel bad. Don't consume it. I love E.T. the Hip Hop Preacher. Sometimes I need that kick in the butt, loud, passionate, let's go type of content. And I tried, right? And he was talking about no sleep and dig in and get it done. And that wasn't serving me this week. That's not what I needed. So I couldn't consume ET, you know. So whatever that is for you, make sure if it's making you feel bad, that ain't feel. You know, maybe you need to laugh and giggle a little bit. Or maybe you need to not do social media. But what we're not doing is consuming anything that's making us feel bad. And then after you have properly rested, that's where we want to try to focus on something that we are in control of. Maybe for you, that's getting dressed, you know, do your makeup, look in the mirror and like the reflection that you see. Um, maybe that's just a long, hot bubble bath, you know, maybe you need to take a short walk outside. Maybe you need to do some yoga and just focus on your breathing, you know, some mindful meditation. All I'm saying is you need a small win where you're in control. That's important. For me this week, I, when I say this week, uh, yesterday, right? I started, well, day before, day before yesterday. What I started doing is I got back on my Peloton. I haven't been riding my bike uh, very much lately. And I did a 15 minute R&B ride where I knew all the songs and I just felt so good afterwards that I got on my bike again. And then I got on my bike again. Um, yesterday, I did some swimming lessons and I felt really good about that. I'm a grown woman, but we had a, a situation last summer where we all drowned. I'll tell y'all about it another time. But anyway, I want to learn how to swim. I want to be very comfortable in the water and give it its respect that you should know what you're doing out there. But anyway, those things help, you know, and I got a, a, a little short wind and that has helped my mood immensely, right? And then after that, what you have to do is you may have some very large tasks that need to be done. You may have some looming deadlines approaching. You have to break things up into very small manageable pieces when we didn't got so low and we just talk, we are not finna go do all the laundry no we are going to do a load of laundry to completion and then we're going to celebrate right and then through that law of momentum we can get more things done and it takes as long as it take right we're not putting any timelines on any of those things. I know that everybody wants to go fast. I know we want to get things done, but oftentimes we have to slow way down. To recap, when you find yourself feeling low, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to forgive ourselves. We're going to forgive ourselves and just acknowledge that this is the space that we're in. We're going to do authentic rest. We're going to give ourselves some authentic rest. Then the next thing we're going to do is do something small for us that we can control. Take the bath, get dressed. Maybe it's making the bed. Go get out in nature. Something small, right? And then we're going to break down the, the to-do task, the to-do, because we're not in control. These are things that just got to get done. But we're going to break them into very small, manageable pieces and celebrate all along the way, right? And then we'll find ourselves feeling much more accomplished, uh, ready to tackle the world. And that's just what I wanna leave y'all with today. Often we need to go slow so we can go fast. And that 
is how you get started or get restarted when you just ain't feeling too good. Just feeling unmotivated. As we bring this podcast to a close, I'm going to leave you with a nugget. Be kind to yourself. Remember, life happens in cycles, right? It won't always be like this because it hasn't always been like this. This too shall pass. And you do not win any awards for being unnecessarily rough on yourself. So treat yourself just as good as you would any other person that you love dearly. And I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all listening. And I'll see you next week. Thank you.